Hi, um, so it's a slightly different video today. I'm not doing a subscription box. I thought I'd try something different, uh, branch out a little bit. So something that I do every year is, um, generally for the last few years, make my own Christmas decorations out of paper. So the Christmas decorations that I make, and I find that uh, when I've been at work over the last few years, uh, every year I end up teaching at least someone how to make them or making a bunch of these Christmas decorations myself. So I did get the idea from the internet somewhere else, so you may have already seen this. But I just thought in case you haven't seen them and you want a little bit of Christmas inspiration, apologies it is quite early I know, but if you wanted a bit of Christmas inspiration, try something different. Uh, if you're in the UK, which you probably are, we're in lockdown, it's rainy. Um, so this is what I have been making. I don't know if I can fit it on the screen. Ta-da! These 3D snowflakes. Uh, I don't know if they're snowflakes or stars. You tell me. So I will show you how you make them. What you need for these is it's um, A4 paper, standard, uh, you know, white A4 paper. So on top of the white paper, you do need um, scissors and plenty of staples and a stapler. So let's get started. Okay, I apologise for the state of my table. You can see it's uh, well, it is a, it's a kids' table, <laughs> which I now use as a coffee table, which I should replace. So you need squares first of all, like all good paper crafts, and you really don't need to worry about it being straight. So I use this one as my template, get all the other pieces lined up, again does not need to be neat or perfect or anything, try this way. So we take our square, fold it, fold it again, now from looking at the triangle, trying to see it on the screen, uh, you've got two edges that are, I don't know what you call that, where there's two pieces of paper and then one edge where there's just a crease. So you want to hold it and cut from the crease inwards this way. And we do three cuts in. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I've just started a Twitter account actually, I say really only just. Um, if you go onto there, I will post a few um, pictures of how how you do this if you wanted to recap that is on twitter uh, it's nice and simple at the toddler mum or one word at the toddler mum so then we've got it open you can see where it's being cut this is the tricky bit it has taken me a bit of time to um to master this thing in it but it uh, you get there eventually it doesn't have to be again I'm uh, gonna that's my motto of this video it doesn't have to be neat because the uh, end effect is just nice I don't know if you can see we're unfolding them in either side and stapling together so we've got folded in that way folded in that way and if you can see that folded in that way, folded in that way. And then we've ended up with that. Uh, so that's one part of the snowflake. Okay, so this is the last 
point of the snowflake. And what we do now is staple them together in in bunches. See, lined up here. Staple. Run out of staplers. Take two. There's one half. Two halves. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit fiddly. Again, this is on repeat. Does not have to be neat. So we do need to staple the pieces together, otherwise they don't all stay. Um, they don't all stay up. They kind of just flop down. And it's hanging. And there we have our 3D snowflake. Ah, so big. The snowflake which I hang from the ceiling using some cotton and just stick it to the ceiling. Uh, it's always really effective, especially with some paper streamers. So obviously you are left with, after cutting the squares, sorry, straighten you up a little bit. After cutting the squares of, uh, of white paper, you end up with these pieces, which we don't really want to waste. You can cut these pieces in half and make paper chains out of them for the Christmas decorations, which I think looks nice. You can fold these if you want to give it a go into, uh, if I can show you, for example, into smaller squares and make little snowflakes, which are this size. So say this one's hanging from the ceiling and then have another one hanging down off another piece of cotton. And, uh, and that's when people start walking into my Christmas decorations. But maximum impact is the, you know, the theme. <laughs> when it comes to Christmas decorations with me every year. Well, I hope that's been okay. I hope you've enjoyed this and you've got at least a little bit of inspiration if you haven't seen the 3D snowflakes before, that you might give it a go. Post, uh, post a comment, let me know if you try it, let me know what you think. Uh, and I, you know, I'd love to see if you've got any ideas for Christmas um, decorations or even paper craft, I love that kind of thing. Um, as I say, I'll post a small-ish step-by-step um, of pictures eventually on Twitter at the toddler mum or one word um, and give me a follow if you can because I don't have many followers because it's new uh, and uh, that'd be great to see you over on Twitter as well thank you for joining bye